blessed. You are blessed indeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you are blessed indeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I've got a very powerful teaching today. Hallelujah. Amen. I know it to speak to your heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, I say to speak to your heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you won't be the same after this teaching. Amen. Nothing evil shall hate you. I thought I'll, 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 I'll hear that amen. Nothing evil shall hate you. Amen. Ah. Woo! Glory. Amen. I said glory. Amen. I said glory. Amen. Nothing evil shall hate you. Amen. Amen. Glory. Amen. Exodus 15. Amen. Exodus 15. 21 to 26 is where we are going to navigate. Exodus 15. 21 to 26. Because nothing evil shall hurt you. Amen. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not convinced you. Amen. Your amen is standing on one leg. Amen. Nothing evil shall hurt you. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> hey! 21. And Miriam answered them, saying, You the Lord, he says, Say you the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider after overthrow them in the sea. 22. So Moses brought Israel forth from the Red Sea. And they went out into the wilderness of Shia. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. So again, found no water. Found no water. After a powerful miracle. Of seeing the troop of the soldiers of Egypt drown. After them seeing a powerful miracle of the Red Sea, conjured into two, became like the ice, and they passed on the dry land. After that miracle, the first thing they encountered was also a challenge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wrote it here. Just after every notable miracle or victory in your life, it is always preceded with a test of your faith. Amen. Every time you see a miracle, what comes after that is another test. These guys have just seen a miracle. The Red Sea split into two. The Egyptian soldier drowned. And what follows after them? Three days, no water. Ah! Why did God allow this? Because He wants to see them. Do they believe God is there for them? Hallelujah! Amen. You may be questioning also that I just saw the hand of God last month. But what's happening this month? It's a test of your faith. Hallelujah! Amen. Ah! It's a test of your faith. Hallelujah! Why? Because God wants to see them. Hallelujah. The more you see God comes through for you, the more his dealings with you become stricter than ever. Last year, you had financial challenges, but God came through for you. This year also, you have some. God is simply saying, I want to see, do you believe I'll help you? Hallelujah. The Israelites were supposed to say, we have seen such kind before. Hallelujah. Amen. Because they saw such kind of, man, of manifestation of the power of God. They would have said, no, 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 no. We have seen the power of God before. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I still see the power of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Why do you think this time around, God won't come through for you? <laughs> Look at their thinking. Three days, no water. But they saw a miracle. All of you here, you were one day in a crash. God brought you out. Hallelujah. Amen. Even this year, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. Even this year, you are coming out in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't care where you are now. God brought you last year. Hallelujah. Amen. So you are coming up in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 23. And when they came to Mara, second Mara, Mara means Peter. When they came to Peter, they could not drink. 
or the water of Mara. <laughs> so they found water and they thought, hey, here is water now. But the water was Mara or bitter. Hallelujah. Amen. For they were bitter before the name of it was called Mara. And the people murmured against Moses, saying, What shall we drink? There's already someone who knows how you're going to drink. Hallelujah. Amen. The same one who brought your troops in the water, the same one who healed you, hallelujah, Amen. shall supply also. Hallelujah. Amen. The same one who paid school fees for your child last year is also paying this year in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Amen. He hasn't changed, hallelujah. Amen. He hasn't changed. Just because the challenge is doesn't mean it's not there. He's there right now in that challenge because you're coming out, hallelujah. Amen. I said you're coming out, hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, murmuring does not work. Murmuring does not make things work. Murmuring does not help. Murmuring makes things worse. Complaining does not work. It puts you into a more problem. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Verse 25. Look at this. And Moses cried unto the Lord. And the Lord showed him a tree. It's so again a tree. a tree. Which when he had cast into the waters, the waters were made sweet. <laughs> Hallelujah! Amen. There he made of them a statute and an ordinance, and there he proved them to be Jehovah. And then in the last part of 26, he says, For I am the Lord that heals you. Hallelujah! Amen. So he proved to them as the healer. Hallelujah! Amen. Look at this. When Moses threw the tree in the poisonous water, because the water was bitter, means poisonous. The water was changed into the water of life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And if you see, this, the power of God entered into that tree. And it changed the water from bitter into sweet. And from death to life. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't care what is bothering your body. Tonight, the power of God is coming into your body. Hallelujah. Amen. That thing will change from bitter in the name of Jesus. It will change from growth into a baby. Hallelujah. God can change the fiber into a baby. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So the water was changed from something that could harm them into something that could make them live. Amen. Amen. The doctor may have said you are having a growth in your brain. The power of God is coming tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. It will change that tumor into something powerful. Hallelujah. Amen. Into the senses of the brain. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, the power of God can do that in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The power of God can change things. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. Now, if you see the tree, is a type of the cross. Because Jesus was hung on the tree. Galatians 3.13 says Galatians 3.13 says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the Lord. Hallelujah. Be yeah. made a curse for us for it is written Cursed is he that hung on the tree. So can you see here, when Moses was shown the tree, the tree is a type of the cross. Amen. Amen. And also a tree is a type of the word of God. So what Moses saw was the cross. Amen. And what Moses saw was the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. The tree is a type of the word of God. Amen. How did I know the tree is a type of the word of God? Exodus 4.17. Exodus 4.17. The Lord told Moses this. Exodus 4.17. The Lord told Moses this. And you shall take this road or this tree. So the rod is a stick or a tree. You shall take this stick or this the tree in your hand wherewith you shall do signs. And tonight God is saying, take this word in your hand. Hallelujah. Amen. By this word you shall do signs. Hallelujah. Amen. By this word you shall do wonders. Hallelujah. Amen. By this word provision will come. Hallelujah. Amen. 
By this word, healing will come. Hallelujah. By this word, power will come. Hallelujah. Say, so take this word in your hand. There is no miracle without a road. That means there is no miracle without the word. So the word of God is the tree of life. I am and as the word of God is coming, the word of God can enter your body tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And that word of God carry power itself. Hallelujah. Amen. And it will change your blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, you change your blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God is the tree of life. It's the stick. It's the tree that Moses was shot by the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the word of God is the power of God. Amen. I did not amen. I said the word of God is the power of God. Amen. Where the word of God enters, it penetrates and change. Amen. I don't care whether you are possessed by a demon. The word of God can flash at that table in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, hallelujah. The word of God is so powerful. That's why Paul says, I'm not ashamed of the word, the gospel. Because the gospel is the power of God. And tonight you are in an atmosphere of the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. As the word of God is coming through my mouth, power is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. You better receive some power tonight in the name of Jesus. You better receive it. Amen. It's flowing right now. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are fatigued, be quick in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be strengthened in the name of Jesus. If you are weak, be strong. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are sick, be healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Because the word of God is the power of God. Amen. Hey. It's the power of God. Amen. But it's the power of God. Amen. If you are thinking wrong, you need to think right. Hallelujah. Ah, ah, ah. Glory. Amen. I say glory. Amen. The power that is in the word of God <laughs> does everything according to your faith. Because inside the word of God, there is power to handle anything. Amen. But what the word of God accomplishes is according to your faith. Amen. That's why your faith must become alive tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. It will accomplish your provision in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will accomplish your healing in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will accomplish your promotion in the name of Jesus. Amen. The word of God. Amen. The word of God. Amen. So inside the word of God, there is power to cure. Mm, 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 mm. Whatever does not need healing, need cure, cure will come. Hallelujah. Amen. So the power of God is curative. It can cure anything. Hallelujah. Amen. And inside the word of God, there is the creative power. Amen. Creative power. Why? Because everything was made by the word of God. And I don't care what is in your body right now. That's not right. The power of God will change it. Hallelujah. Amen. The power of God will change it. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, there is cute, there is creative power. Amen. You don't have a newborn. The word of God can create a newborn, right? Right as you are sitting there, like Paul was preaching, the man was born lame, and the power of God entered him. Hallelujah! Amen. Gave him a new uncle. Hallelujah! Amen. And the man is stood upright. Amen. So the word of God is coming tonight with power. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Inside the word of God, there is the power to operate, like surgery. The word of God is powerful. It's quick, Hebrew says. The word of God is quick. Quick means quickening or making alive. Amen. Ah, your eyes shall become alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Your ears are becoming alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Your lungs are becoming alive. Hallelujah. Amen. Inside the word is a quickening power. Amen. It's a quickening power. Amen. I said quickening power. Amen. I said quickening power. Amen. It operates. The word of God can remove growth without any surgery of any, any knife. <laughs> Remember Mary never went to any surgery, but the power of God brought a baby. Hallelujah. Amen. In the womb, in the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of God. That is in the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Inside the word of God is power to neutralize. Mm. Remember, when Moses threw that tree in the water, the water was neutralized. Amen. And you know very well in science, you can neutralize certain substances using other substances. Yes. I can make acid a liquid to drink, 
when I use a right substance. Hallelujah. Amen. I can kill the acid in the, the acid in the acid. Amen. I can kill it. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why I declare in the name of Jesus. May the, just me, just me. May the power of God move stronger in the name of Jesus. Amen. The way the work that the word of God does Amen. can neutralize. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can what? Neutralize. Sorry. This thing that's going on. I praise the Lord. Amen. Inside the word of God is power to change. Is power to restore. And power to deliver. Hallelujah. Amen. And power to heal in the name of Jesus. Psalm 103, verse 20. Psalm 103, 20. Psalms 103, 20. The Bible says Psalm 103, 20. He says this. Sorry, Psalm 107, 20. Psalm 107, not 103. Psalm 107, 20. The Bible says this. He sent his way, hallelujah, and healed them and delivered them from their destruction, hallelujah. So God always sent forth his weight. He always sent forth his weight. He always sent forth his weight. He always sent forth his word. And when the word of God comes, the word of God heals them. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah, tonight you are being healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say you are being healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. He sent forth his word and his word healed them. Amen. So right now tonight, the word of God is healing. Hallelujah. <laughs> I say the word of God is healing. Hallelujah. Amen. And the word of God is delivering you. Hallelujah. Amen. You are being delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are being delivered. Amen. As you are being delivered. Amen. As you are being delivered. Amen. And you are being healed. Hallelujah. Amen. And certain healing are taking place without even you knowing. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm, they are happening right Amen. in the bedroom you are watching me. It's happening. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said that it's happening. Hallelujah. Amen. Because he sent his weight. Amen. And the weight healed them. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So again, I am being healed, healed. Right, now right now by the word of God. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. The word of God is healing you right now. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I said, thank you, Jesus. Oh, that's why if you are in this building, you are sick. Your disease is in danger. Hallelujah. Amen. It's in danger of the power of God. Hallelujah. Because he's here tonight. Amen. I say he's here tonight. Amen. So Jesus is the tree of life. And he is the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So when he enters you, whatever was wrong will be neutralized. Amen. Mm. And it will cause it to have no harm on you. Amen. I say no harm on you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Let's see clear to confirm that this three Moses saw was Jesus. Isaiah 11, confirm this. Isaiah 11, verses 1 to 3. Isaiah 11, verses 1 to 3. You are going to see clearly that Jesus confirms. The scripture confirms that Jesus was the tree that God showed Moses. Isaiah 11, look at this. And there shall come forth a tree, a road, a tree. Out of the stem of Jesse. Can you still stem? That's a tree. There shall come a tree out of the stem of Jesse. Hallelujah. And the branch shall grow out of his roots. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. Can you see upon him the tree? That's Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. And today Jesus is in the world. Amen. I said he is in the world. And tonight, I don't care what is wrong, the tree of life is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. I said, the tree of life is coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Just receive this life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive this life. I said, receive this life. Amen. When the word of God, when Moses threw the stick or that tree into the water, something happened to the water. The water was poisonous. But something happened. You may have a cough in you. Tonight something will come into you. Amen. As the word is coming, hallelujah. Amen. And that growth will shrink in the name of Jesus. Ah, I said to shrink in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whether you have got high blood pressure, the word of God, and that's the tree of life, will come into you tonight. Hallelujah. Amen. And there's something 
Father, we thank your blood pressure. Hallelujah. And to, be, and to be normal in the name of Jesus. Ay, 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 ay. Receive it. As I receive it. As I receive it. You are always tired. Something will come into you. Hallelujah. Amen. And it will cause again strength in your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you wake up, you're going to be refreshed all the days of your life. Amen. Refreshed. Amen. As I refreshed. You are being refreshed right now. Amen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So when the word enters you, it releases the power into you. Hello? Amen. And that power changes something that was to kill you into something that will make you live. Amen. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. Hey, 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 that's why I don't care what you have. I don't care what has been there. Something is coming to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Something is coming to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Something is coming to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. And changing that thing. Hallelujah. Yeah. Neutralizing his power in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Like though the water was changed. Yeah. If God can heal waters, then God can heal cancer. Hallelujah. Yeah. And God can heal lungs. Hallelujah. Yeah. And God can heal kidneys. Hallelujah. Yeah. That's what I declare. May God give you a new body in the name of Jesus. Amen. New body parts in the name of Jesus. Amen. New body parts. Amen. They are coming tonight. Receive them. I said receive them. Receive them. Receive them. They are happening right now. It's happening. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, new thyroid. Receive right now. New, th new thyroid. Hallelujah. New thyroid. Receive it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. I said thank you, Father. I said, thank you, Father. Amen. The poisons and the harmful things that was in the waters were neutralized. We know in chemistry, I've just told you, you can neutralize one substance with another substance. Amen. All right? Amen. You can use acid and make salt from acid. If I use calcium oxide or sodium bicarbonate, I react with sulfuric, sulfuric acid, I can have sodium sulfate. And I can use that salt. That's how they use powder. That's how they make these things soda. It's a poisonous thing, but they mix it with something else to change it to something that you can live with. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the power of God is entering. Hallelujah. Yeah. And whatever was wrong is becoming right. Hallelujah. Amen. It was supposed to kill you to make you live. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ay, 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 ay. It was supposed to make you your life cut short, but when the power of God enters there, it makes you live longer. Hallelujah. Amen. You don't need to know how. God is a greater scientist because every science agrees with the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. So God who knows everything can mix his power with a tumor and turn it into something good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God can mix his power with a cartilage, uh, is it the eyelid problem or a retina problem and mix it with something and make it a clear retina. Hallelujah. Amen. All you need is belief in the name of Jesus. Amen. How it does, you don't need to know. Hallelujah. Amen. But if he explain to you, you can understand Amen. that you understood chemistry. Dream it simple. Amen. Amen. Hello. Amen. I say hello. Amen. I see your knees are being strengthened in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say your knees are being strengthened Amen. in the name of Jesus. Be sensitive tonight. Something is dropping in us. Hallelujah. Amen. And the word is coming. Amen. So we see the, the power of God neutralize the water. What does it mean to neutralize? You need to understand. What does it mean to neutralize? Neutralize. It means neutralize. N U N E U T R A L I S E. Neutralize. A. Stop something from being effective. Can you see this? Stop something from being effective. That means you may have stage 5 cancer 
and the power of God can just enter there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And make ineffective the power that was in the cancer to grow and stop it. And if you stop it, you've got many days to live. That means going backward now. Hallelujah. It's called recovery. Hallelujah. There's one woman we had a testimony shared with us. It's my tickle. She came there by winds at least. The cancer was all over blood also. And her bones. The will of her and her prayers, am I right? I've been told here. I prayed for her that day. That's how you the power of God entered her. But the manifestation never took place the same day. It went and stopped the problem. Tonight the word of God is coming to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Stopping that problem. Hallelujah. Yeah. Instead of progressing you to go back one. Hallelujah. Yeah. And be restored in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And when she went for checkup, they found that clear cancer clean. Hallelujah. Yeah. I said, yes, man, I was being told. Yeah. So go the one who did it. Six weeks to leave, but she's alive now. Today it's almost two years old. Since he came there, it's two years now. Two years plus. Am I right? Two years. Two years almost. But they say six weeks to leave. So can you say to my something is coming to Hallelujah? Amen. Amen. Your sugar levels are going to go to normal. To normal. Hallelujah. Amen. I need an amen. They're going to normal. Hallelujah. Amen. Your blood pressure is going to normal. Hallelujah. Amen. Because something is coming into you. It's coming into you. Amen. Hmm? Stop the effectiveness of something. You may not see that it has happened already. Some miracles, the way they happen, you don't see them. But just one thing have happened. Hallelujah. Amen. That's why don't sleep in the time of the word. In the time of the word, it's the time of dropping things. When the word is coming, things are being dropped. Hallelujah. Amen. Something is dropping into us. Even as I'm preaching also myself, something is dropping in my blood. Hallelujah. Amen. Receive a new blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. When I call something, the Lord is pressing on my heart. Receive a new blood in the name of Jesus. Amen. New blood has been released. Amen. New blood has. New blood has. As a new blood has. As a new blood has. Are we blessed? Prophet's mom, they found out the new, is it new? New lamb. New lamb. New lamb. Thank you, Jesus. New lamb. Amen. They can't explain that. That's the power of God. Amen. Amen. Daughter says, New lamb. Amen. New set of lambs. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Hallelujah. Ah. Hallelujah. Amen. Your stomach is becoming afresh. Hallelujah. Amen. And renew the name of Jesus. Your stomach is dying right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every drop in your womb is dying right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Something's dropping. Yeah. That's why tonight is the night of something dropping. Hallelujah. Yeah. Don't need to see it. Just drop. Yeah. And it went inside. Hallelujah. Yeah. And do the work. Hallelujah. Yeah. And some of it, you will be continuing to do as you are sleeping. Hallelujah. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Amen. Operations are happening right now in this service. Don't need to feel it. Don't need to see something is happening already. Hallelujah. Amen. One woman was in the meeting of Kelethia again. And as she was preaching, the word of God is coming. She he says, Whatsoever you believe, believe you take it. And she said, I took my new eye. And she popped up and she was able to see. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> something that can change is already here. Amen. All you need is be sensitive. Hallelujah. Amen. Be sensitive. Amen. Those who are watching me too, be sensitive. Amen. Number two, mm. what does it mean to neutralize? It means to counteract. Counter, C O U N T E R, act. Mm. Counteract the activity or effect of something. When the power of God enters you, mm. it counteracts the activity of that thing. Okay. Did you know that inside cancer there is life? But it's not just the real life, it's a life of death. Yeah. If they remove it, they put it on the microscope, they see it breathing. 
that tumor, that devilish tumor. So tonight, in the name of Jesus, the love of God is coming into hallelujah. Amen. I don't need to know what is wrong with you. The love of God is going there. Hallelujah. Amen. Curing you. Hallelujah. Amen. Reversing it. Hallelujah. Amen. This is your night. Receive it. Amen. This is your night. It's a night of miracles. Hallelujah. Amen. Things that happen to our bodies are that you don't you know right here. Hallelujah. Amen. If you want to lose weight, just believe the power of God will enter you. You lose some in the next few days. Hallelujah. Power of God can enter and help you lose your weight. Hey. Amen. Hey, Allah, Allah, Allah. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Number three. What does it mean to neutralize? It means to disarm something. Something was harming you, and when something enters there, it is disarmed. Mm -hmm. To disarm something. Amen. To disarm something. Amen. That's that's you know, they told me I, 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 that I, I, I could not walk. Mm -hmm. But I'm walking today. Why? Amen. Something came from the unseen realm yes. and entered my leg. Hallelujah! Uh, and entered my leg. Hallelujah! Amen. Whatever was damaged was recreated. Hallelujah! Amen. Whatever was missing was replaced again. Hallelujah! Amen. Tonight I declare whatever was, is missing in your body is being replaced in the name of Jesus. Amen. I said, be replaced in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, receive it. Amen. I said, receive it. Child tonight, you can receive their healing, hallelujah. Amen. And the power of God will hit them where they are. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Amen. Come on. Because God is doing these things right here. Aha. Listen, people of God. We are here to behold him. And as we are beholding you through the teaching, he's entering us. Look at Numbers 21. Numbers 21. Verses 8 to 9. You're going to see how poisonous snakes were neutralized. By simply looking on the cross. On the serpent. That was, now listen. That, that is the picture of the cross. That's the picture of the way. Hallelujah. And tonight as I've come just to hear something's entering you. Something's entering you. Something's entering. Hallelujah. Something's entering you. Whether there are bacteria in you that they are dying right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Complication in your womb, they are being clear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, fallopian tubes are being clean in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh yes, for women, you can receive that. Amen. Because that's the Lord speaking, you can receive it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at this. It's a miracle. Amen. I said it's a miracle. Amen. Numbers 21. Are you there? Amen. Eight and nine. Mm. <laughs> and the Lord said unto Moses, Make you a fear serpent and set it upon a pole. Can you see? Mm. A pole, a pole. That's cross. Amen. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is beaten with this is beaten, when he look upon it, yes. shall live. Hallelujah. I wait. Ha, are you telling me just looking at it? Yes. yes. As they looked, yes. something left that poor and entered them. Hallelujah. Yes. And went and to the poisons. Hallelujah. Yes. That's why I declare that whatever has been wrong in you, tonight is going. Hallelujah. Yes. Because the word of God is coming into you. Hallelujah. Yes. It's going out. It's going out. It's going out. It's going out. PP yes. is going out. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, angels are here right now. They are doing works in your chairs. They just like where you are sitting. They are doing works. Hmm? I say, hey. Amen. Uh, uh, this is nine. And Moses made a serpent of brass and put it upon the pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had bitten any, anyone, when he beheld a serpent of brass, he lived. What made them live? The poisons were stained into something that made them live. Amen. When they looked at that tree, at that pole, hallelujah, and tonight when you hear this word of God, hallelujah, Amen. something is entering your brain, hallelujah. Amen. Entering your brain, hallelujah. Amen. Entering your chest, hallelujah. Amen. Entering your hands, hallelujah. Amen. 
and things are being flashed out. They didn't feel anything at all. They just lived. Amen. Yeah, they just lived. Amen. Don't you feel anything at all? Something's happened already. Amen. Hmm? Amen. The answer to that problem is this. Keep looking at the word. They told them that. That's the answer. I don't get some people. The doctor says you, you've got three weeks to live, and you can't begin to watch cartoons. You are looking at death, so death will keep entering you. When they say you are on stage four cancer, it is time to separate yourself from the world. Uh, yeah. And carry Pastor Stan's teaching, Hallelujah, yeah. and the Word of God, Hallelujah, yeah. and begin to be whole, and begin to be whole, and begin to be whole, and two weeks has passed, and you haven't died. Yeah. Why? Something entered you, Hallelujah. Yeah. Something entered you and inter counteract. Hmm? The activity that was going around. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey. Amen. Yes. Hey. Amen. That's a hey. Amen. Amen. Woo! Can you feel the power of God here? Amen. Look at Second Kings again. Jesus also. Is a, the significance of the word of God. The word of God is the significance of the bread of life. Amen. So all of you tonight, you have come to the cooking supper. <laughs> Amen. Amen. And the food is tasting nice. Hallelujah. Amen. Not only tasting nice, the food is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Amen. As you are healing you, you are swallowing you. Hallelujah. Amen. And that word is entering your soul. Hallelujah. Amen. And producing the power of God is out of you. Amen. Something happened among the sons of the prophets. They ate poison. I'm about to give you a verse. And Elisha says, give me meal. meal. Give me meal. What is the meal? The word. I said the word. I said the word. I don't care what they, what they have said you have. The word is dealing with it. Hallelujah. Second King chapter 4. Look at this. 38. 41. 2 Kings chapter 4. 38 to 41. I want you to see how the meal, which is the food of the spirit, is able to go and fix you. 2 Kings chapter 4. Are you there? Yes. This is 38 to 41. The Bible says this. <laughs> The Lord is praying that people are being healed in the chairs. Amen. <laughs> Minor and major problem are living. Hallelujah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. And Elijah came to Gilgal, and there was a, a dwarf, that means famine, mm. in the land. And he, the sons of the prophets were sitting before him. Mm. And he said unto the servant, Set on the great pot, and the seedy pottage of the sons of the prophets. That night. And one went out into the field to gather herbs and found a wild vine and gathered therefore wild guards. This is uh, mushrooms. His lap full. And came and shrew them into the pot into the beans. For they knew them not. Potting. So they poured out for the, for the men to eat. And it came to pass as they were eating of the pottage. And they cried out of the and said, Oh, thou man of God, there is death in the pot, and they could not eat their own. So when they began to eat, they felt something began to change in their body. Some felt like they were dying. And they said, man of God, we are about to die. Look at this, look at this. But he said, bring meal. Tonight you are eating the meal. Hallelujah. Amen. You are eating this meal, and I want to eat this meal. Hallelujah. So something spectacular will happen in your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are difficult in sleeping, you are going to sleep good sleep in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, as you are going to sleep good sleep in the name of Jesus. Amen. Some of us when we sleep, when we sleep, we wake up, we wake up 10 40. Mm. <laughs> because I wake a lot. So when I sleep, I will sleep 10 40. So I calculate hours. Sometimes I go to bed at 2. So when I wake up, I will sleep up maybe tap to 10 40. So count the hours. Most of the time, if I sleep less than six hours, but normally I enjoy my nine hours sometimes. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. 
Uh, they say that grace in the name of Jesus. You won't be tossing around in pain. Hallelujah. Because the meal is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Uh, 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 hallelujah. Bring me the meal. Hallelujah. And he cast it into the pot. And he said, pour out for the people. That they may eat. And there was no harm. Wait. There was no harm. What happened? It was neutralized. The meal of the spirit is coming to you tonight. Amen. Something is happening all over you. Hallelujah. Amen. Demons are running away. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You won't dream bad dreams anymore. Hallelujah. Amen. You are being connected to right dreams in the name of Jesus. Amen. Dreams of the spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Changing your mind set up when you sleep. You dream you're in heaven. You dream you're laying hand on the sick. Hallelujah. Amen. You dream God is blessing you. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh yes. Amen. I say oh yes. Amen. Let, me show, let me show another example. The water had bitterness problem. And the Lord showed Elijah to take the salt. Did you know that inside of you, salt is a picture of life? The Bible says we are the salt of death. The Christ is the salt. Hallelujah. So, salt is what preserve. Salt is what protect something from going wrong or being decayed. Hallelujah. Amen. And inside of you, they say, this is, this is eternal life. Hallelujah. That is working inside of you right now. Hallelujah. Amen. To neutralize whatever poisons that is in your body in the name of Jesus. Amen. Do you know that inside of you, there is the power to make you begin to rule the earth? Amen. Receive in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, receive in the name of Jesus. You be skis and be looking like a 40. Or 35. I pray for that grace. No more growing old. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you look Amen. younger? Yes. Amen. Hmm? Amen. I say, hey. Amen. Moses was able to see from afar at age 120. Wow. The Bible says that. Deuteronomy 34. Yeah. Verse 7. Go now. Verse 7. And the Bible says he was, was able to rise and climb the mountain mm. at age 120. Wow. I pray for you. They become strong in your bones in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Ah, they become strong in your bones in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Your feet is becoming strong in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You see that energy. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Amen. That's a hmm. Yeah. 2 Kings chapter 2, 19 and 22. Look at what happened. <laughs> Second Kings chapter 2, 19 and 22. And the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of the city is pleasant as my Lord see. But the water is, is naughty or poisonous, and the ground barren. Stretch your hand and let me declare over your hand. I declare that your hand shall not be barren in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever you touch, you prosper. Amen. You reproduce Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. May God open the doors of favor in your hand in the name of Jesus. Amen. They say the water is poisonous and the land is barren. Mm. Mm. And he said, Bring me a new cruise. And put salt therein, and they brought it to him. Hallelujah. Amen. There they, they brought to him, and he went forth unto the springs of the waters mm. and cast the salt into there. And said, Can you see the same part mm. is what called the power into action? Mm. That's what I declare over you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You are becoming healthy in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, as you are becoming healthy in the name of Jesus. Your organs in your body are functioning right in the name of Jesus. Amen. He said something. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. That says the Lord, I have healed these waters. Amen. There shall no more be hence any more death or barren land. Amen. So the waters were healed. Unto this day, according to the saying of Elijah, which he spoke. Mm -hmm. 
according to the saying of Elijah. So according to my saying tonight, I say your body is restored. Amen. I say your body is restored. By my saying, I say you are receiving new body parts in the name of Jesus. Amen. By my saying, I say you shall not die young in the name of Jesus. Amen. By my saying, I say you shall prosper in the name of Jesus. By my saying, God will give you money in the name of Jesus. Amen. By my saying, you are going to give us big money for this church in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 You give us big money in the name of Jesus. Amen. Receive it. As I receive it, Amen. it shall be as I say. Hallelujah. Amen. Ah. Amen. The Lord is honoring this word. Amen. Amen. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> That's why I said, nothing evil shall hurt you. Hallelujah. Shall not hurt you. Three more verses we close. I'm gonna get to you something out of this. Amen. I want you to see how the fire was unable to consume four Hebrew guys. Mm. It was fire. Mm. Don't play with it. <laughs> The people went to throw them in, they were bent. Yes. But you know, something happened to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm. Something, these three boys, when they throw them in the water, in, in the fire, something came over them. Amen. Amen. Something tonight is coming on you right now. Amen. Uh, you are living this place, something on you in the name of Jesus. Amen. A particular presence never walked in tonight. Yeah. It's coming on you in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Your fellow workers tomorrow will see it. The people you meet today are going to see it. Hallelujah. Yeah. Something will come on you. Uh, I said something will come on you. Yeah. And if you take it nicely, it will make people bless you tomorrow. Hallelujah. Yeah. It will make people call you. Hallelujah. Yeah. And remember your name. Hallelujah. Yeah. I speak as a prophet. Hallelujah. Yeah. May people remember in the name of Jesus. May people remember in the name of Jesus. Your name will click in their eyes. Amen. Tonight. Because something will come on you. Amen. That's why they are not being able to be bent. Something came over them. Hallelujah. Amen. And it insulated them. Hallelujah. Hey. 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 It insulated them. Amen. 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 Daniel chapter 3, 25 and 27. See it there. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Ah. Daniel 3, 25 and 27. You know, when something comes with you, it changes the trajectory of the environment. Amen. Amen. Protocol broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this. He answered and said, Lord, is the king, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire. Mm. Walking, second, like walking. Okay. And they have no head, I told you. And the form of the fourth one is like the Son of God. Hallelujah. And tonight the Son of God is in you. Hallelujah. Yeah. And he's coming upon you. Hallelujah. Yeah. You are living dangerous tonight. Yeah. Uh, as you are living dangerous tonight. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. He said, they are not yet. No small even. Mm. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to them, to the mouth of the burning fire of furnace, mm. and spoke and said, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, ye servant of the Most High God. Hallelujah. People are going to change now the call. Hallelujah. 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 They thought you were dying, but your resurrection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who caused them to change? Hallelujah. And they say, indeed, God is with you. Hallelujah. Amen. They will change how they call your name. Amen. Servants of the Most High God. Yes. Do you know why? Many of you, you are asking God to deliver you from something. But God is saying, I want to deliver you from something. I will deliver you out of it. Amen. You didn't hear it. Hallelujah. Because that will give me more glory. Hallelujah. Kids in the Sunday school, it won't impress them when they read that book. 
Tu sais, Daniel, on s'adresse à Michel avec Digo, they ask God, tu sais, the king should change their mind, not to throw them in fire. That will not help our kids to be more excited and to forget about biscuits. Mm. But what makes our kids more excited and more focused when they say, they threw them in the fire. In the fire? Yeah. Yeah. In the fire. Hallelujah. Yeah. And the Lord brought them out of the midst of the fire. Hallelujah. Yeah. That gave God more glory. Hallelujah. Yeah. So God is saying, you deliver you in the midst of that problem. Hallelujah. Yeah. In the midst of that problem. Hallelujah. Yeah. When the rent is due and they come to attack you, then the Lord will provide your money. Hallelujah. Yeah. Receive that blessing in the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the midst of something. Yeah. We bring you out. Hallelujah. That's why David said, men are afflictions of righteous, but don't deliver them out. Mm-hmm. Not from out. Hey, Akala. Ay, 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 ay. Your neighbor will see God bring you out. Hallelujah. Okay. Your family will see God bring you out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Your colleagues will see God bring you out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Out of it. Amen. Not from it. Yes. So, so that more glory can be given to God. Amen. And the testimony just said, he changed his mind. Do you see here they changed the law because of these guys? Amen. They changed you to worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Your family will change how they see you. Amen. I said, Your family are changing how they will see you. Amen. Because God is bringing you out of it. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This is when you are in a court of law. Amen. Amen. And God comes there. And people are talking about the court of law. Hallelujah. Amen. And don't say, We don't understand. Amen. 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 Hey, la la Lucia. Glory be to God. Amen. One last verse. <laughs> That's what I told you. Nothing evil shall hurt you. Amen. 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 Nothing evil shall hurt you. Amen. 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 There was one time I went somewhere. I went in Prince. Mm. I went to John. When we arrived in Prince, in Prince. It's a farm area, it's a village. Mm. We went to deep, deep pits. Mm. Three hours from here. Mm. Yeah. We even went to down, from down to bush. Mm. When we arrived, there's a sangoma there in that area, in the village. They respect him. He knew that the man has landed. Mm. The mother to Sarah told me, he's never come to their place. But that day, he came. Mm. He came to throw certain things. I said, no, no. No, there are people which can never harm them here. They are here. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, when I left, mm. early in the morning, a bed, a demonic bed was found dead mm. on the yard. Mm. And I saw something here on my leg mm. grow. I just said, Whoa, mm. they shall not hurt us. Amen. After just a few hours, just dried mm. like this. And then, like fire hit it. Yes. Was done. Amen. Evil shall not hit you in the name of Jesus. Uh, I say, evil shall not hit you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hello? In my language, they call that kapop. It's something that people throw for you, but it's useless. Because they shall not hit us. Amen. 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 I saw within hours how, you know, like you are bent. You mm-hmm. became like that. You are becoming like that also. Amen. You are like you are already like that. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at this man. You close with this man. Mm. Who was bitten by a dragon. Mm. Very dangerous snake. Mm. Paul. Mm. I want you to see his behavior. Mm. And I want to sh- show you how to behave too. Don't behave timidly in the midst of something happening. Amen. You must behave boldly. Amen. I say behave boldly. Amen. And see the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Acts chapter number 28. Acts the, the last chapter. Acts 28. Paul, they have just survived the massive shipwreck. Mm. Massive shipwreck. And now. They have escaped to the land called Melita. Look at this. 
And when they were escaped, then they knew that the highland was called Melita. And the barbarous people showed us not little kindness, for they kindled a fire and received us, everyone, but because of the present rain and because of the cold. And when Paul had gathered a band of sticks and laid it upon the fire, again fire, fire. there came a viper out of the heat. So sometimes when you enter God's presence, you expose vipers there. <laughs> and because of the intensity of the heat, they want to come out to escape. They may try to harm you a bit. Hello, 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 hello. Oh, let me go. Let me not go there today. But listen carefully here. The viper out of the heat and fasten on his hand. So here's the viper. Fasten poor his hand. And when he, the Babala saw the venomous beast hang on his hand, they said among themselves, no doubt, this man is a mother, whom though he has escaped the sea, yet vengeance suffered unto him. And he shook off the beast into the fire. Go like this. Shook off. Shook off. Other version says, he put it away or took away with. Why? Because Paul had a revelation. He must come before Caesar. Hallelujah. Amen. All of you have the revelation. Hallelujah. Amen. God is saying, You're not going to die until you see this church expand. Hallelujah. Amen. So, whatever that comes against you, shake it off. Hallelujah. Amen. How do you shake it off? Paul shook it off, and the Bible says, and felt no harm. Mm -hmm. And the Lord showed me how do you shake off things? Don't think on it. Mm -hmm. No problem. Don't think about it. You're shaking it off. Amen. Amen. When you are thinking about a problem, it will bite you. <laughs> yeah. uh, ignore it and overlook it and see God. Hallelujah. Amen. And see you have money. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you have money. Hallelujah. Amen. I see you have help. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't think on it. If you don't think on the problem, you shook it off. Amen. Number two, don't talk about it. Don't. If somebody, how do you feel? Don't, I don't say how I feel. I am healed. Amen. How do you feel? Really don't ask me that question. Because I'm healed. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't talk. Talk about it. Amen. If you don't talk about it, you shake it off. Amen. And you won't feel the harm. You want the power of God to get to enter you. Hallelujah. Amen. Only talk about how healed you are. Only talk about how God will provide for you. Hallelujah. Amen. That is all you need to talk about. Amen. That's why this Friday, by the grace of God, I want to energize you this Friday. Why it is the re it is Bible reasons why it is the will of God for you and me to have provision every time. Amen. Amen. Very powerful. Amen. I want to come and show you this Friday. So can this Friday come load it? Because I want to provoke your faith. Amen. For you to expect, expect provision from God. Amen. Amen. I said provision from God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Stand up on your feet. Just get ready, prepare your offering.